Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Hello. What's up? I'm looking here real quick. Just look around the corner. It's uh, kind of creepy looking, right? Back at the cemetery, the Mausoleum Road Cemetery is what I call it because I don't know the proper name. God bless all of you. Thanks for being here today or this evening or whatever time of the moment of the hour of the day or minute that it might be. If you're here, then I thank you. Thanks for inviting me into your home. Uh, it is still Memorial Day weekend, officially Memorial Day tomorrow. And I also wanted to say, um, I believe I already gave a thank you to the allies, our veteran allies, for their support and our efforts from the very beginning. And I appreciate your service as well. Um, you know, I have come across some really interesting comments as of late. Very uh, wonderful comments, as I might uh, honestly and thankfully say. I have appreciated the nice things that you have said to me. There were a couple that uh, did not make it to the comment section uh, because they were, they ended up in the uh, held for review section for a reason. And that is because these two individuals whose name I will not mention um, because they probably have a channel. I'm not out for revenge. I'm not a bad person. That's not my style. But I chose not to include their comment uh, even though I said I will accept all comments and read all comments. These two particular ones were, as they say in the South, not very Christian-like. They weren't very nice. And um, I'm getting to the point right now to where it's very uh, disheartening, it's aggravating, and it hurts. I'm not going to lie, it hurts. And if that's what your purpose is, uh, to hurt me, well, guess what? You did a good job. What you said hurt. Uh, this lady, Martha uh, Orsborne, was born in 1824, passed away in 1904. I've not seen a um, anything like this. It's pretty, pretty thin. So... Um, Back to where I was at, back to the matters at hand. You know, you can remember that old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. It's not so much of what I was called or anything, but it was what was said about me and about the channel and about the people on the channel. Um, uh, without saying the expletives, pretty much more along the lines of you know, you only have so many comments and so many uh, subscribers. What's what's wrong with your channel? How come nobody's commenting? Uh, why don't you just hang it up? Why don't you just stick to this, stick to that? Or why don't you just leave YouTube? So forgive me for saying this, folks, because like I said, I'm not a, a bad person. I'm not a mean person. So my response to them because I will not respond to them in print and because I block them. If I'm ever commenting again, they can hear this if they want. Um, you can just go away. You can leave and you're out of mind and out of sight. Okay, I'm done with you. It's George W. was the son of George um, Rexabel Lewis died in 1860 at the age of two years and four months and 15 days. I don't mean to be a downer. I just wanted to get that out of the way because it's, uh, it's really, uh, you know, I'm going through this. Um, it's a U.S. Navy. I didn't see this one before. Matheson, I believe. Thank you for your service. Um, you know, I don't mean to come across as a downer. It's something that I have been dealing with, as I've told you before, and as I will tell you, 
in my journey and in my fight to deal with this and get better so I can help others. Depression is a real you-know-what. And when things like that are said to me about me or about my friends, my family on this channel, uh, you know, there's an old thing that my dad used to say to me, whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. So if you think I'm a loser, well, guess what? You are too. And after of that, uh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Look at this. Clouds. No chemtrailing today. I guess they take vacations. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Over here, over there yonder, <laughs> that's the mausoleum. And it looks like the door is open to the mausoleum. That is wild. I'm going to go see if I can um, go over there. Hold on one second. So I'm going to walk on down that way. Um, that's the first time I've ever seen that door open. And I know that some of you remember when I went underneath and the things that happened. So um, I think they have it open because of it being Memorial Day. I have to watch what I cross. Again, I apologize if I came off uh, sounding rude at the very beginning. I've just had it. I love everybody on my channel. You have all been great to me. I'm humbled and honored that you chose my channel to subscribe to. Like I said, it's dedicated to my late daughter, my father, and it's also dedicated to you as well. You're my family. So yeah, I see the door is open, and um, so I'm going to walk in here and uh, see what happens. The old colonial mausoleum. If I get arrested, oh well, right? <laughs> I don't think I will because I think they had this door open for a reason, being that it's Memorial Day. So, whew. wow, it's beautiful in here. It really is. You have 1800s, 1900s, a good acoustics. Out of breath. Albert Tally Channing, U.S. Marine Corps, World War II, November 23rd, 1912, April 19th, 1989. Thank you for your service. I guess these are special. Uh, D.B. Gibson, born June 24th, 1903, died April 12th, 1978, Margaret and Daniel. This really is nice. Um, I'm really amazed to be in here. Dr. Woosley has a curtain drawn by. I'm not sure why, but Lester Woosley, M.D., 1873 to 1962. Yeah. Then, of course, it has a, a bench in there where people can sit down, I guess, and meditate. This is really wild. Lester Kennedy, 1877, 1962. And you can tell who's had visitors and who hasn't. So I'm gonna turn on uh, Ghost Tube, see if anybody responds to me and see what happens. 
Let's find out, shall we? Make sure. Um, this device will not hurt you, but allow you to create an image. If you would like to create an image for me, that would be nice. Um, you can paint a picture of what you like. What do you remember? This is uh, all about the mausoleum. Tells you about it. And um, I'm just glad that I got to come in here. And, um, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and head out. Thank you, folks, for letting me come in here to talk to you. Thank you for that beautiful image. That might be something that you remembered. Looks like a horse is out by a cemetery, and I am by a cemetery, and there are horses in the area, so they probably remembered seeing that. Thank you so much for that. I hope that you're in a wonderful, peaceful, and happy place. I hope that the, you made it to where you wanted to go and that heaven is as beautiful as they say it is. This device will not hurt you. It will not cause you any harm. It'll let you communicate. Turn the light on. That's a coffin up there. Strange. Dorothy Curtis Hornbeck, September 28, 1919, August 11, 2020, George Jr., November 7, 1916, December 26, 1999. And there's a place where they can sit and meditate. I'm not sure why this is uh, like closed off and locked up. Who won't leave? Who are you talking about? Are you referring to me? I'm not here to be disrespectful or anything. I'm here out of respect and love. Yes, this is a place for mourning. Exactly what it is. I thought my other half left me. <laughs> I started to panic there for a second. It's beautifully put together. It really is. Elnora Edwards. Wow. That's really wild. So there you go, take one last look before we head out at all these beautiful, um, beautifully laid mausoleum. It'll be interesting to be able to come out here at night, but I doubt they have it open, you know what I mean? Anyway, I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for uh, putting up with me, and I apologize again if I have upset you and if I have offended you and uh, by what I said at the very beginning of this uh, video. But again, folks, you know, I'm human and I'm really uh, up to here with hateful stuff. We got enough hate going on in this world. We don't need it, don't want it, and it's not accepted here on this channel. If you have a critique, that's fine, that's different. If you want to say something, suggest something, that's fine, that's different. But, you know, don't go throwing shade and uh, saying things about this uh, channel or about me or calling me names, you know, and making fun of me for my depression and stuff in your comments. Um, I'm glad that I have it where I'm able to flag certain uh, comments and be able to look at them. A lot of you that have commented have been very, very gracious, very, very kind, very loving in your comments, and I appreciate you, each and every one of you.
So thank you again for being a part of this journey, for being a part of this family, and thank you for hanging out with me and for letting me hang out with you. So remember to let those that you love know you love them before you head out the door because you might not ever have that chance again. Take care, everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. God bless. And as for me, I'll see you on the flip side.